Hello, Dr. Victor Gunn here with my nephew Arthur to talk to you about this controversy over the common core. Uncle, I'm not so sure why people are getting so upset about what Ms. Scott is teaching us. She is showing us how to master content by using I can statements. We do a lot of reading and writing, but we also have time for hands on projects and fun stuff too. Maybe they are against it because they don't understand it. Your Papa Mila does not like seafood. I think this is because he does not try it. Anyway, I thought I would try to explain to you. But to begin, I must tell you why these people do not like the Common Core. They say it is a data collection tool, a conflict of interest, a movement of power, a one-size-fits-all, the influence of big money, and teaching our children to be common. <laughs> this is all, as my beautiful wife Novika would say, a lot of rotten cabbage on a plate of dog poo. The truth is that the common core is simply standards-based movement to make America more competitive in the rest of the world. I want to be able to get a job in the competitive market. Principal Butterton says that when we get out of secondary school, we will have to compete with nearly 3.2 million American graduates for jobs. I want to be at the top of that list, Uncle. And you should, my little tadpole. But to do that, you must be able to compete with those coming to America from around the world. Let's look at their argument, and I'll try to explain. To their point number one, the data collection tool. There is no data collection tool in the common core. The data collection is done by the teachers. This was done, anyway, in a much more evasive means during the George Bush administration and the No Child Left Behind movement. Besides, I think that parents would want to know where their child is in education. At least, if they find out, then they could help them. They could support their studies and stop them from putting rocks up their noses and eating the cat doo-doo. To the point number two and three, a conflict of interest, a movement of power. I am not so sure about this one because any time a group of people say vague things like this, they they are saying things like the boogeyman will get you, all fear and no substance. Uh, point number four and six is ridiculous as they suggest that there is a ceiling to learning. In the common core, there are college readiness standards. Teachers differentiate, oh, I'm sorry, uh, for those opposed to the Kami Core, differentiation means that the teachers teach every child differently, so to ensure that they understand. And uh, regarding number five, the only reason that money is attached to the Common Core is because of the people who are resisting it. It's try to get them to join the team, as they are, you know, need of need of a carrot like for the donkey. None of these things are true about the Common Core. The Core is a set of standards and becomes a target for the teachers to teach. And then the teachers use a curriculum comprised of textbooks, activities, and lessons uh, that range from hands-on experiences to reading and writing. Well, that's all it is. To help you understand, I have created a chart for you. For some, I have included pictures. Consider the standards are a target or a goal. The curriculum is the roadway to reach your goal and the text, lessons, activities, etc. are simply the vehicle. That makes a lot of sense, Uncle. Do you think this will help them understand? I hope so. You must realize that many of the complainers have not even looked at the common core. Uh, they think it is an Obama thing, when in fact it was designed by teachers and educators across the country. The second real issue is that all these parents think their child is some sort of prodigy because they live in a society where every little stop nosed child gets a trophy for waking up in the morning. Billy Taylor's mom thinks he is very smart, but I saw him eating the glue yesterday. <laughs> yes, I am sure Mrs. Taylor's boy could be very smart, uh, but he has to be trained to believe that he can do it and not just focus on that he gets to be a winner every time for every little thing he does. It is hard to be successful. Cousin Milof and I had to study all of the time to learn our math, science, and history. 
If we wanted a trophy, we had to be the best, not just show up on the field. Coach Blake, our soccer coach, says that everyone is a winner. Well, that is just stupid. If everyone was a winner in class rankings and college would not matter. Uh, there would be no need for a GPA. I think I understand. So if everyone was a champion, there'd be no need for playoffs or Super Bowls. Yes, yes. It is time for these parents to realize that the Common Core is a good thing. That if their child is smart enough to compete for jobs in this country, it would ensure jobs stay in America. That is a social idea that I think we can all get behind. Now I think you better go study your geometry. Yes, uncle. I will see you later. Well, it is time for me to get into my book on quantum mechanics. I hear it calling my name. A good night, and may freedom ring for all mankind.